Welcome back everyone. Today I want to check out a new service. I love doing these introducing features. This one is AI RT Image Enhancer. Looks pretty cool actually. I took a look at the free trial before they gave me access so I could check out the pro features and give it a good review for you guys. But essentially this has been optimized for AI generated images. So it'll work well with the stuff that we're generating. Um, it is an AI tool. It is an image enhancer. It does upscale and enhance. It's called AIRT. You'll find it at AIRT.com. Um, there is a link in the description. And if you want to go check it out, like I said, I've been having some good results with this. So um, it's a nice little alternative to the stuff that we're running locally. As you can see here, it's uh, giving a little multi-pass. They've got a bunch of different models you can run in two stages. It runs locally on your machine, which is pretty cool. And like I said, it does denoise, de-blur, de -blur, more details, and upscale. There's lots of different upscale choices. I like being able to upscale to 2K rather than just picking a hard value. I think that's a really cool feature. Um, we're going to take a look at how I've enhanced a few of the example images which they sent me and then some of my own generations. So uh, they've also got a bunch of stuff going on where you can actually get access to this for free as part of some little competition they're doing. So we're going to take a quick look at that. But full disclosure, if you want to buy this, it's $75 for a standard yearly license or, which I would probably do, it's very rare to get a lifetime license these days and it is running on your GPU. I mean, I guess they're going to put out more models. I don't know. They do say that. So it's not like I don't know. I just don't know, no, you know? And we'll just take a quick look at this competition. So, show your country via AI images, enhance with AI RT, and win prizes. There is uh, 45 mid journey monthly plans and a giveaway of the full product. So, you can enter by generating images, enhance them, and you can get a giveaway license for this competition, you see. So, you can get access to this to do your competition entry, right? Submit it and possibly win. Uh, there's more prize details and stuff there. Here's some of the other entries which have been made. So look, people are getting some pretty cool generated images out of this. Also, there's a really nice mid-journey guide, which is giving you some uh, sort of... Uh, look, I've seen this kind of breakdown before. I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with how to do your prompts, but there might be something that you didn't know about in here. It's a very good guide for how to get some good images out of mid-journey. You know, maybe some of you guys don't know that. So there it is. Um, and then obviously more information on how to get even better out of your mid journey prompts. Now, obviously we can take some of these mid journey prompts into what we're doing too. So just keep that one in mind. And let's see, we can just go down here. I'm just going to take a look at this. There's some stuff in here, which I don't do. I mean, look at this. I don't do that. I've never done that. Okay. Oh, nice. We've got a whole bunch of little, uh, yeah, yeah. Cyberpunk. Yeah. So more style prompts. So yeah, there's even more. Renaissance style, Baroque. I used to love Baroque. Bit of Baroque. Ah, different types of lighting. Golden lighting is pretty fun. What's this? Wow, studio lighting is absolutely crazy. Reflected lighting from stained glass window. Mmm, I've never tried that. Light position. Yeah, we do stuff like this. Art medium. Wow, cool. I'm enjoying this. I'll be honest. I want to get back to the actual. Uh... <laughs> we will get to the software. I'll put timestamps into this. Okay. I'm just enjoying all this stuff. Golden ratio does look good. Do, 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 do. Rule of thirds. Ah, interesting. Get some composition control. Obviously, this is all mid journey stuff. I'm just having a little bit of nostalgia trip here myself, guys. I haven't used mid journey for ages. I do feel like I might pick it up for a month and see what we can turn out. Yes. And then we've got all the different styles. Do you know what? This is actually worth bookmarking. This Mid Journey Prompts page is definitely worth a bookmark. I'm going to throw this one in the description as well, guys. Because I'll be honest with you, like, I've got lists, but my lists are actually not complete. So I don't, I don't have weird. What the hell is weird? Hit me up in the comments if you know what weird is. <laughs> Pro tips for Mid Journey Prompts. Use ChatGPT. Ah, cool. Okay, forget grammar. Use synonyms. Very cool. 
All right. So we've taken a look at their promotion. Let's take a look at the software. Obviously, you're going to download it. And for you guys, you'll probably be using your giveaway license. And essentially, I mean, there's a 30 day trial as well. This is the software. So just to make it clear, it's this panel I'm moving around here. I've just put it inside the browser so it's easy for me to get that. So as you can see, we are, have taken a look at some of these. And do you know what? I'm just going to look at the outputs first, okay? So what I've done, I tested it on one pass, and I tested it with each of the three models. I don't know why, but that's appearing on the opposite screen right now. Just, okay. So the drop down list says more detail GAN V2, smooth diff V2. You can't see it, unfortunately, but it is there. Okay. And then real photo V3. And as you can see, each one is giving a specific style. Now, what I liked doing was using the more detail GAN V2 with two pass and real photo as the second one. But obviously, if you don't want photo realism, then I would use the smooth diff. I did find that smooth diff, uh, well, one of the setups didn't allow me to do the resolution I wanted because I usually want to pick 2K. I think that is a pretty cool uh, place to be. And obviously, if I run this, it's going to do everything, all the example images that came with my pack here. And then obviously this, a few of my images as well. And it's going to try and scale them all to 2K which is nice. And then what we should get is a bunch of stuff to look at. So there we go. Now, my images came with the file name, so it tells me what I've done. All right, so this is just more detail 2x. That was the smooth, and that was the photo. So if I go from more detail to the photo, get a slight difference there. Now, oh, if I was to go into one-to-one -one on these, you would be able to see differences and sort of mistakes, but it is bringing out the image nicely. Uh, when I started putting it onto the two-pass, you see it cleans it up a little bit, and I started experimenting with the different ordering for the different mix uh, to see which one was the best. I ended up coming up with this. Um, I did do that one a whole bunch of times, actually because I got a bunch of different looks on the uh, tower there. And I did this one as well, which is quite a detailed city I did. In uh, These are not the true world images. I think this one's from Black Sun. Black Sun's got some weird distortion stuff going on. Um, I was trying to do, like, weird distance details. Um, but I don't know if it really worked. <laughs> so that's my, own, that's my own stuff there. Let me look at this. See, normally I've got a one-to-one -one button, and if that really was 100%, okay, it does seem, that seems a bit more like it. Okay, so that's 100%, right. Okay. See, I reckon I'm going to start using this. Let me see if I can throw something a little bit more. All right, let's give it a bash with a couple of these. So we'll run those. Bish, bash, bosh. Done. It should be on date. That is good though. Hang on. Can I put it on date? Should be on date. There we go. I mean, this looks this looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. And it was quick. It was very quick. Makes me wonder what the formula they use is. Um, but like I said, it takes the pain out of something which, you know, if you've got a lot of images, you just want to, uh, upscale them and get some extra detail. This is a pretty cool tool. Um, here it is. There was also other things which I haven't tried. So I don't know what add text is. I haven't tried that. Okay. Um, everything I've done has just been like blind. So we've just literally put the images in and then we've selected our sort of recipe. And it's, like I said, the features are nice. I like how when you move things around, it's following. So I don't, you know, I've, I know you see that kind of thing in software like this, but it's just nice to see. So before 1024, after 2048 by 2048, I wonder what it would look like in photo. Because that was the best combination I found overall. But I hadn't tried it with anime yet. 
So I downloaded the models to my local. If you have the full program, it'll let you download all the models. It didn't take up a lot of space. So refresh. Okay, so we should have a whole bunch more now. These ones, yeah. See, with the photo, it's just sharper. Hmm. Um, yeah, it is better. The more detail, GAN, real photo. Let's stick it on 4K and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm liking how easy it is to use. It's using my GPU. And I got a lot of control. It'd be nice if there was a bit more control, but I suppose the whole point is to make it easy so you can do big batches fast. And like I said, I've made workflows that do stuff like this, and it, this is getting good results. So, like I say, a lifetime license means you're not paying credits. It is your GPU after all. Wow, that's actually, actually very good. 4K. These are coming out very nice. And then it just becomes making really good images. Just re make your best images and throw them in here. Super cool. So to top it off, I mean, I'm probably just going to spend a little bit more time after we look at this page here, just uh, throwing in some more images that I've made, just to see what it does with them. Um, there is an 8x upscale, for example. But yeah, if we take a look at this, there's a lot of information on the website about how it's working. It looks like it's doing similar stuff to us, just in a more polished and sort of quicker way. So lastly, we're going to take a look at this quick guide here. And as you can see, there's a whole lot more information with lots of detail on how to use the product, how to get it working. It's exactly as I've just showed you. It's very, very simple. Um, just got to remember how you register your, your key. Okay, when you open it up, so I'll show you that. When you open it up, there's a little menu in the top left corner. Click the hat, and the menu will appear. Typical, you can't see it. <laughs> but yeah, you'll be able to enter it in there in the settings. So yeah, like, can I open the settings? Yeah, I, there you go. I can show the settings. All right. So that's that. Let's do a couple more images. So taking a look at the not the true world images that I've just put in. Uh, we're just going to take a look at these. So it's actually done a really good job because a lot of these images were made with a sort of a weird, uh, sort of ghosting. There was a ghosting effect on a lot of the detail. It's actually cleaned that up really well, especially on scaffolding and some edges. And it's certainly cleaned that up in these. So it's definitely an improvement, especially in this one. In fact, I feel like I should show you the original for that image. Let's see if we can find it. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Yeah. So the original image, if you see what I mean, is that the original? Yeah, I think it is. So in the original image, there was a strange ghosting on the on the on the uh, the girders here. If I was, you know, being critical about my uh, generation, if you actually look at it right up close we're at 600 percent mind you um but you could see that there was a strange is this even yeah that is the correct image there was a sort of ghosting and if we look at the uh image here that ghosting it's done a good job of cleaning it up it's a little bit wavy but it's straight okay so you could attribute the waviness to a kind of natural look still parallel yeah and a good job good job okay so i don't want to waste your time guys that is pretty much the long and short of it um it is a good image enhancer with the built-in upscaler it's got three models and it does batch conversion you throw them in hit run off it goes. Uses your local computer, GPU. Pretty cool. Now, do they have... Uh, there is also a CPU option. I have no idea how long that might take. I used the NVIDIA option. It just worked. It was very quick to install and small to download. 
I don't think the models were that big, but because it well, what it does is it downloads them every time unless you have them installed. Uh, but you can install them in the menu. So that's pretty much all I've got to show you. So just a reminder, I recommend the lifetime license. I'm not sure if they gave me a link, but if they did, it'll be in the description. I think the main thing is that um, they have discounts on the full license and they're running that competition as well. So you put those two things together, you've got a lot of options to get the software cheap. And there's so much information on here. I do recommend checking out the web page and just looking at all their examples and stuff because there's so much here. And it's nice to see these services coming online because it takes a little bit of the time out of your workflow. If you can get a reliable service that runs locally on your machine, and it's going to give you results sort of like this. Uh, this is good. This is great stuff. All right. So that is pretty much everything I had to tell you. So hmm, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.